Before I start, I'd like to give a shout out to my subscriber, Gundam B. Thank you Gundam for suggesting I review this horror game. I appreciate it greatly. If anyone else has any suggestions for horror games you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments down below or in my channel's discord. Signalis is a 2022 top-down 2D survival horror game with well-crafted pixel art, story, and atmosphere. It's heavily inspired by iconic horror survival games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. The protagonist is an android named LSTR, pronounced Elster, who wakes up in a seemingly abandoned spacecraft called Penrose 512 that crashed on an unknown planet. Elster has to walk down dark, maze-like hallways and search abandoned rooms aboard the futuristic spacecraft, which objective is to seek out habitable planets for its dystopian nation to colonize. While searching the ship, you'll learn about what's going on as you read notes and journals, while also solving a mixture of logical and abstract puzzles and dealing with a wide variety of enemies and three different bosses. The game also has four different endings. The gameplay, the protagonist's movements, and the enemy's behaviors are similar to that of PlayStation 1 Resident Evil games, as fans will notice in Elster's running, walking, and aiming mechanics, while the overall atmosphere feels similar to Silent Hill, as it feels like Elster is in a hellish dream that progressively worsens with no choice of going back. Signalis is similar to Resident Evil in many ways, such as having to solve logical and abstract puzzles, having to investigate, look closely at items and photos in your inventory to find codes to unlock doors. Your inventory space is limited, so you need to carry items strategically. The inventory appearance and item selection mechanics is similar to that of Resident Evil's inventory system. You have to conserve ammunition and medkits since they're hard to find. Enemies take lots of ammo to kill, so often the best option is just to run past enemies. Once enemies are taken down, you have to burn them so you can clear frequently transversed hallways or else they'll come back to light. The character movements, combat controls, and camera angles are similar to classic PlayStation 1 Resident Evil games. You have safe rooms where you can save your progress and store unused items in a storage chest. The safe room can also be used to flee from enemies. The game is visually appealing and feels like a refined PlayStation game with a combination of well-crafted pixel art, 3D models, and even anime-style artwork. Besides games, Signalis takes inspiration from other sources. Animated works such as Neon Genesis Evangelion, Ghost in a Shell, and Spirited Away, literacy works such as The King in Yellow, The Festival by H.P. Lovecraft, and An Inhabitant of Carcosa by Ambrose Bierz, and paintings such as Isle of the Dead, Shore of Oblivion, and Estrade, just to name a few. The game has four different endings, adding to the game's replayability value. The different endings are achieved based on the player's performance. For example, how many enemies Elster killed, how much time Elster spent exploring, how many times Elster died, and the overall time spent in a single save session. Of the four endings, one is a fake ending, and after it, the game will continue. Rather than relying on cheap jump scares, the game's source of horror comes through its atmosphere. The game excels in creating a tense and unnerving atmosphere, which it achieves to great audio design. The level design further adds to the sense of dread, since you have to travel through dark, 
narrow corridors and rooms, creating a feeling of claustrophobia and vulnerability since it gives you little space to run when encountering enemies. The feeling of confusion as you wander through the ship, not sure where to go next as unseen enemies lurk around every corner, further adds to the feeling of dread. Even in the safe room, the music selection creates a calming yet uneasy feeling, so you never truly feel safe. Overall, Signalis is an amazing, surreal horror adventure that's worth checking out. It takes inspiration and ideas from classic PlayStation survival horror games and other works, ultimately creating something unique in the horror survival genre. Offering an experience horror and science fiction fans are sure to enjoy. Thank you for watching.